intermediate. Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to play 10 fills for you ranging from easy to quite difficult and when I play them I'm going to black out the screen so you can't see what I'm doing. Your challenge is to see how many of these fills you can play by ear. So you might need to pause this video at different stages and do a little air drumming of your own or maybe even jump onto your kit and see how close you can get. The lesson will be set out in two parts. The first half of the video will be me playing each of the fills individually and then I'll play them in context with a groove. The second half of the video will be me breaking down these fills in great detail. I'll show you the counting, the drum notation and I'll also put the PDF transcription for free on my website. That's nickbouquetdrums.com and if you want to challenge yourself further, feel free to pause the video after each fill and see if you can transcribe it. Okay, that's it from me. I think we need to get into the video now. Let's go with the 10 fills. Fill number one. In context with a groove now. Okay, fill number two. Okay, I sometimes use this with students as a speed exercise to develop flow around the drums. Here it is, I'll start off slow and get faster. Okay, fill number three. Let's put it into a beat. Okay, fill number four. Okay, let's try that one more time. Can you play that one by ear? Okay, number five, and this one has a bit of a five theme with it. That's the fill. Now let's try it with a beat. Number six now, ooh, this one here. Let's put it into a beat. Yeah, I think that's pretty clean. Kicks weren't quite right then, but let's move on to fill number seven. Oh, some flams. Okay, let's put that in context. There we go, let's try number eight now. Hmm, not so bad. Okay, in context. Okay, number nine. Ooh, a bit of a Swiss theme to this one. Okay, well, let's swing this groove. Hmm, 
wasn't quite happy with that groove, but let's do that once more. Okay, number 10. Oh, you'll recognize this one from a previous video on this channel. Yeah, let's put that in context. Yeah. That was fill number 10, and I think I'll add in a bonus fill as well. If you're enjoying this video, subscribe and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Here is the bonus one. That's our list of 10 fills plus a bonus fill. Let's do them all in recap really quickly now. Number two. Okay, three. Four. Number five. Six. Seven. Okay, eight. Nine. Ten. And then the bonus fill. So let's just stop the video right there and I just want to give you a little bit of insight into the way that I think and the way that I learn. So when I hear a fill or a groove, the counting is just the first thing that just instantly pops into my mind. I was so lucky to grow up with a teacher who just drilled me on counting since I was a little kid and now that counting just hits me instantly. Whether I'm hearing the fill, whether I'm playing, I can even do it on the fly while I'm playing like this, so like one, a two. Three, four, and one, a two, e, three, a four, and one, and a two, a three, and four, one, a two, and three, e, four, one, two, three, and a four, a one, and two, three, a four. So that counting just instantly hits there, and then I can assign the sound that I'm hearing to the drums in front of me using that counting. So it's so important. So I thought you'd just find that insight useful to help you work out some of these fills and I should do a few videos about counting in the future. Okay, let's get back to it now, enough of me. Let's get on with the lesson. So now I'm gonna break down all 10 fills really slowly and include the notation down the bottom of the screen. Let's go with fill number one. Here is the fill. Okay, the notation's going down the bottom now. So the way you count this, one E and two E, a three and a E and a. And this consists of four of the three note semiquaver groupings. So one E and, two E, a, three and a, E and a. And I'm just putting that all together now. One E and, two E, a, three and a, E and a. And then I added two variation exercises. So in the first variation, I just put a drag in all of the spaces. So that sounded like this. And try to keep my hands in exactly the same form. And then in the second variation, I added a 30 second note and the kick drum in the spaces. So that sounded like this. So let's do all three of those in a row, keeping the same form with the hands. So here we go. One E and two E, a three and a E. Okay, that was fill number one. Let's move on to fill number two. So that was the speed exercise. So that was using some sextuplets. Here it is, and here is the notation. Okay, now what I did with that, I started off really slow. The first part is one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then the next part moves in a motion down the tom. So your hands look like they're going in this way. So I'm starting on the crash. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when I put that all together, one, two, three, four, five, six. And as the speed exercise, I start off slow and get faster. You get the idea there with that sextuplet fill. So let's move on to number three. Number three is actually a hand and foot combination and it's pretty much the exact same sticking as the first fill. So I use that same one E and two E, a three and a E and a, sounds like this. I'll do that once more really slowly. uses the same um, semi-quaver three note groupings. Okay, that was fill number three. Okay, fill number four was a paradiddle combination fill. So this one starts on the splash and goes right down the drums. One, a two, and E, a four, and a one. So they'll finish off with a five stroke roll on the last two beats. So that fill looks like this. Check out the notation. One, One more time. One, a two, and E, a four, E, and a one. A few um, inversion and outward paradiddles in there with that five stroke on the end. Okay, you can download the transcription for this lesson at my website, Nicholas Bouquet. No, it's nickbouquetdrums.com actually. Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's move on to number five. So number five was a diddle egg five rhythm. And I saw this ages ago when I was researching the hybrid rudiments. So I, find, I found this sticking, it's like a paradiddle with an extra note at the end. So it sounds like this. So I remember my five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, hippopotamus, intermediate, hippopotamus, intermediate. So then I'm going to move that around the drums. It actually sounds like a little bit of a off six stroke. And then the, five, um, the diddle egg five. So then I move this in this orchestration around the toms. with a bit of speed. Yeah, I like that one. So that is the Diddle Egg Five, and that is halfway through our list of 10, the breakdown. And I think I also played a John Schofield groove with that one. That feels not in the song, but I think the, oh, what is that song called? Every, Every Night, Every Night is Ladies Night by John Schofield from the Up All Night album. I love that album. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's move on to fill number six. Here it is here. This is actually a Gene Hoglan fill from his Individual Thought Patterns with Death and it's from the song Out of Touch. Um, it's really simple, triplet one and two, triplet three and four, triplet and. Oh, that's terrible, those kicks. That's better. Let's see if I can play that and count it at the same time. Triplet one and two, triplet three and four, triplet and. Okay, that is how it goes. And I think it also appears on the symbolic album in a song, Sacred Serenity as well. So that was fill number six, bit of a one for those Gene Hoglan fans and the only one on this list that has some double kick in it. So fill number seven now, let's have a look at that one. So to break that down, that really is simple. It's just really four flams, left, right, left, right, but I've flattened them out a lot. And what I'm doing is adding a 30 second note double kick in each space. So it sounds like a one. So 
So one, two, three, four, and one. And then the fill. Okay, that was fill number seven. Okay, let's move on to fill number eight. So I'm just gonna play it for you now. So fill number eight is really just four double accent permutations. So they're just the accented groupings of four. So what I'm going to do to break this down, I'm going to play it just as an accent pattern first. So the accent pattern sounds like this. And the way we count that, one, a two, and a, e, and, four, e and then straight out. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use this as a bit of a form exercise. So first I'm going to play just the accented version, and then I'm going to add doubles on all of the non-accented beats. So this is the exercise that you can do with this rhythm. I'm just gonna play it right now. See that, I'm trying to keep my hands feeling and looking exactly the same when I'm playing the accents and when I'm adding the doubles. Also, really easy to throw around the toms. Or on the cymbals. And you get the idea, that can shred around the kit. We've seen that a lot before. So that was fill number eight. Let's move on to number nine. So number nine was a Swiss based fill. So let's try this one. Okay, so number nine, this first sticking, it's based on that Swiss triplet variation. So I'm accenting on the one a, uh, one and up two, a uh, three, a uh, four. So it's very Gavin Harrison. That kind of idea. So what I'm doing now with that first part, I'm adding a right, left, left at the end. And that's kind of, um, I, kind of I guess I kind of got this from a uh, swing pattern. Where I'm trying to add that one ender, two ender, three ender, four ender with the left hand. And then the last part, I'm just adding that down the toms, that same pattern. So the whole thing. Okay, so that's fill number nine. Okay, let's move on to fill number 10. So number 10, I've covered on this channel before and it was a Tower of Power fill, but it was from the Soul Vaccination live album on the song, What Is Hip? And it sounds like this. So that's really simple in four parts. Well, it's not simple, but when you break it down into the three parts, it actually is quite simple. So the first phrase, That's the first part. And the second part. Second part. Then the final part hits with the accents of the song with those brass stabs. So when we put the whole thing together, that David Garibaldi there we go so that was fill number 10 now let's move on to the bonus fill so this is a fill that you might have seen on this channel it's called the four stick cross and it sounds like this so the first phrase is a paradiddle diddle Now the second part um, is a sextuplet and I'm going down the toms leading with the kick drum. Okay, just like that. Now the third part, well I'll put those first two together. It's a pretty good exercise. 
guys by itself. Now the third part is the actual four stick cross part. So the next six. And then what I'm just doing is I'm finishing off with um, So when I put the whole thing together, that was the feel. Yeah, so that is the whole list of fills. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've got some value out of it. There are heaps of free transcriptions and lessons at my site and consider picking up a course or buying a book as well while you're there. That's it from me now and I will see you in the next video. Later. Great success.